He was known as one of the greatest drivers of all time. He won one Formula One race and he did cause a lot of crashes. He was a legend of Formula One. But sadly in 2016 he will not be racing as Kevin Mangton was actually bad. This is going to be the last Paz de Maldonado challenge if he does not return to Formula 1 ever. So let's go. We're just going to try and get a podium as Maldonado. Let's just do that to be perfectly honest. But I think honestly <laughs> Maldonado being not in Formula 1 anymore actually will make the racing not as exciting obviously. When Maldonado was behind someone you were like oh no what's going to happen next. But I honestly thought you know he didn't actually have many crashes in his last two seasons in Formula 1. He was just... A bit crazy sometimes with his overtakes and that sort of stuff. Like, remember the Max Verstappen overtake in Austria 2015. Crazy stuff. Anyway, this challenge here today was just... Well, I don't know. I don't really know why. I just thought I'd make it, to be perfectly honest. And I thought I'd choose Maldonado because, well, he might not be ever in a Formula 1 challenge video ever again. If he does not return to Formula 1, we'll see whether he does return in the future. But... Yeah, looking at the moment, it looks like he uh, he, won't, well, he won't be racing this year in Formula 1. Maybe he'll go out and do some GT racing or something just to sort of stay active in the, the racing world. But we'll see. Anyway, through the hairpin here, we've caught up to the front guys here. This would get us on the podium if we overtake one of these people. So Raikkonen and Vettel, I think it's Bottas as well. Obviously, the, the Lotus car in 2015 was not as good as these guys. But, yeah, somehow we're just here. So let's just go for the overtakes, lads. So... Raikkonen is the person right in front of us here. I think, if I remember correctly, we get a really good run through this corner here. We take a bit of a weird line, actually, but I think Raikkonen gets slightly held up, does he? Well, he's probably concentrating on the cars in front. We look to the inside, a bit of an optimistic move. We do manage to get past, I think, fairly cleanly, but we just take too much speed and end up in the gravel, nearly. So, you could say a classic Maldonado move. Anyway, Felipe Massa, next person on our list, down to the hairpin here. Fourth lap of five on the brakes. Is there going to be a risky move down the inside? Yes, it is. Is yeah no okay, how does it? If that was me that did that, I would get a penalty. So why does Massa? Well, why is Massa allowed to do it? That's all I'm saying here. Just it's just not nice. The Formula One game does not like me. Anyway, down the inside of Massa once again, we get that move done this time up into fourth position. By the way, you guys probably have recognised I have got a cold, so I, you know I sound even more stupid than normal. Anyway, Sebastian Vettel is the next person on the list here to try and overtake, and he would actually get us onto the podium. We can complete this challenge by overtaking... Oh, no, Maldonado! Oh, he's done it again. When something's going so well, it always has to end up with the mistake. And we went nearly in the gravel there. Master's gone back through. And now it's a tough challenge to try and get back past him. Running a bit wide here, a bit cheeky to try and do that. They were trying to just take as much speed as possible here. DRS wide open here on Felipe Massa. Right up behind him. Sort of ducking out from behind his uh, slipstream. Going to look down the inside. That's fourth position there. Oh, no, Pastor, where's the brakes, mate? Oh, no, he's all over the track there. He's, he somehow got back in front of uh, Raikkonen, but oh, he's a bit of a, a bit of a weave there to keep him behind. Up to the hairpin here. Are we going to try and move down the inside of Felipe Massa? Surely not. No, don't do it, Pastor. He doesn't. But well, where's Raikkonen? Oh, for <sighs> really, every time, like, it just had to happen, didn't it? Soon as we try and do a Pastor Nadal challenge, of course, it had to evolve an accident. Oh, crash into Ericsson as well. Sorry, lad. Oh uh, well. We tried our best. We really did try our best there, guys, to do a race without crashing. But it just had to be the past the Maldonado challenge where well, we crashed a lot. Long live past the Maldonado. Thanks for the memories in Formula 1, lad. Hopefully we'll see you back soon. We want to see some of those epic overtakes. They are incredible to watch. Rest in peace, Formula 1 memes on the internet.